my uh oh my god my leftover makeup oh no yikes <laughs> did i get it cool we've had a long weekend yeah all right long weekend Do you want to look at it? Yeah. Hello. Hi, Nicole and Princess Pickle and Aaron BB. So you guys are back together. No. We're not. We are both single. We had a long weekend. We were at Eric and Erky's and it was, it was really fun. It was really, really fun. I definitely needed that in my life. Oh my god, my hair's a mess. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Exhausted, absolutely exhausted. Because, you know, it wasn't just Derek and Ricky, but it was my family too. Yeah, we also went to her family's. Yeah. Which was fun as well. Had some good times, good times. How are you guys doing? Hello, Ev. Yes, it was a good holiday. I hope it was a good one for yeah. you guys too. So, I guess the new thing is that if my hair's up, it means I haven't showered. That's different, huh? <laughs> Did we go swimming? No, sadly. I've missed you so. I've been binging old videos. Then this notification popped up. Oh, thank you for the super chat. I hope you're enjoying. I love you in Berlin. I'm going through a seven-year breakup. I know it's hard, but you got this. Yeah, it is hard. I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry that you're going through that. Um, I'm sorry. Are you guys staying friends or anything? For some reason, staying friends just, it helps me, like, a lot. Hi, Thresh. Um, hi, guys. Hope you're well. Thank you, Riley. Um, no, if my hair was dirty, I wouldn't have it in a ponytail. No, no, no. I would not. Because then it would look super dirty. Yeah. <laughs> I just have it up just out of my face because it's annoying. Do you guys think the word platypus is as funny as I do? Platypus. Puss. Funny. Love y'all. What is a lesson that this breakup has taught you? Whoops. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Am I still here? I accidentally clicked out of the chat. Whoa. Okay. What is a lesson that this breakup has taught you? Wishing both happiness. Thank you, Erica. Um, a lesson. Oh, man, a lesson. I feel like I learn a lesson every day. I don't know. I really do. So I don't have one in particular yet. Oh, excuse me. And if, um, I'm guessing the dermatitis is the same. Um, it's just really on my arms. Yeah. No, honestly, I don't know. Um, the lesson I've learned is like, I don't know how to word it. How do you word it? What? Like, I thought we were forever, and, like, you blindsided me. Who said that? I did. Oh, are you still on the... The lesson thing? one. Like, what's, what's, what is a lesson in that, that you can't trust everyone? <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay. Thinking of getting my nose pierced, does it hurt? It did not hurt me, no. Um why i'm confused because i'm confused i have a couple options of like where i'm going to be moving to and honestly i i don't know what to do and i just got done crying about it this whole weekend i've been super distracted and like the minute i got home it's just like everything came flooded back to me and um it just 
I have to start being responsible again. It was nice to get away a bit for the weekend. And uh, I just, it made me start thinking about how no matter which, because I have two things I'm trying to like go back and forth between and no matter which one I choose, it's going to hurt <sighs> because I wish that I could be in two places at once, but it's just not possible. Um, and I'm just, I don't know. I'm just sad and hurt and confused and I just, I don't know. I don't know what to do and I keep asking people for advice and everyone pretty much gives me the same advice. So it's like, I still don't know what to do. So that's why I'm confused. I am in confusion. Um, thank you, James Crumb. Icon, no. Nah. Um, happy birthday, Abel. Yeah, happy birthday, Abel. Um, yes, Becky and I do um, share all money from live streams. Or all money in general. <laughs> did you ever Did you ever discuss breaking up prior to this actual breakup? We had a moment a couple years ago when both of our um, mental health was not the greatest. We did talk a bit about it then, but we didn't break up. You could read some now. I'm like, where are we at? Do you want me to be in charge of this? No, just tell me where. <laughs> I don't. On. My phone's dead, okay. or else I would have Nicole it. Nicole has bad dermatitis and dry skin. I do also have Cetaphil, but it's just not doing what I want it to do just yet. Um, and thank you, Alice. <sighs> thank you, Jill Pill. Mm, I'm not answering that one. What was it missing? That one? Or that oh, one? okay. Yeah, you don't have to answer what you don't want okay. to. Uh, somebody said they've been trying to message you about charms and you haven't replied. Mm, I'm completely... Um, I've read every single message on my Instagram in like the last week, which I don't know how I've done it, but I've done it. So, you might have messaged, like, the wrong Instagram or something. Thank you, Freya. Um, my hat is um, Converse. Whoops. Yeah. I agree, you know. About uh, what Liliana said, but she didn't get a finish. She was probably going to say you need space. But thank you. Oh, to support them, keep loving them. Thank you so much. <coughs> Throat tickle. Uh, it was on the front of my hat. It's just a pin that says boo. And then the Converse star. Uh, Rosie Rose says, Amber, we dimmed on Instagram. Hee hee. Hee hee. Hi, yes. Beauty Beauty. Hello. Yeah. I'm behind on your um, live streams, like, majorly. I haven't watched any this weekend because I was... In my own little world. Well, hello, lazy bit, lazy days, Lord. What's one thing you've been wanting to say to each other but haven't? Oh, Mackenzie, Ooh, we have, that's a good question. I think we said everything. Yeah, let me think though. Oh. Um. Yeah, I feel like we've said everything. Yeah, I can't think of anything. I wish I had something juicy, but I ain't got nothing because we've said it all. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get through it, Chantal. 
We'll we'll get through it. We'll be alright, won't we? Yeah. Hi, curvy cutie. Welcome to Stream Queens, clowns, bitch. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was like, who's a bitch? The best way to show Becky your love is to support her, her journey, and her needs. Much love to you. You will get through this. Thank you, Laura. It's okay. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Adrian. Hello, Erisu Fujioka. Did you pronounce that wrong? Yeah, I tried. Love you too, Liliana. She did better than I would ever would have. Oh, there is a Nuke fan up in here. Fun. Hi, Nia. You want to take turns? Is it called Elephant Ears or Friendo? Yeah, that's fine. My turn. Wait a minute. Hey, Beth, oh, do you love that. typo negative? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. She does. I love that. I, I love typo negative. I love them. Here you go. Wait. That's a good idea. We'll go back and forth like a few minutes back and forth. Okay, let me read this last one I'm on because it's addressed to me anyway. Okay. Becky, I'm so proud that you realized you were being an enabler and realized you needed to back away from Amber. This is an extremely mature thing to do. It was a thing for me to want better for her. And knowing that I was not what's better right now. Because I need to take care of myself first. Mm -hmm. But here you go, Evelyn. I scroll right to where you should be. <clears throat> okay. Is there anything you're excited about, Amberlynn? New adventures can be scary but exciting. Um... Currently, no. If I'm being honest, there's nothing that I am excited about. No. Um, did you have any reactions to your vaccine, Amber? Um, I've only gotten the half, the first, so I've only been half vaccinated. And the only thing that I had was arm pain when I, like, raised my arm like that. That's it. What about you? Um, yeah, I had a lot of pain in my arm and it hurt to sleep on for sure, but she's fully vaccinated and she didn't get sick or nothing. So no. that's really good. I did have the next day. I was very, uh, wore out and like, I felt like I, there was no energy. I felt depleted, but yeah. after that I was totally fine. Yeah. I did a little rundown. I was a little bit more tired than usual, which was weird. What concrete steps have you taken this far to go your separate ways? We are Separate already... ways is such like a weird way of putting it. Yeah. We're not going our separate ways. We are just yeah. ending our romantic, romantic relationship. relationship. Yeah. Um, but whenever it comes to ending the romantic relationship, we have started going through things that we've shared together. And deciding, you know, do we want it or do we want to get Which rid of it? Which has been really hard. Yeah. Um, let's see. Seems like you two got into a fight or something before live. Hope things are going well. No. No, I promise. No, no, no. 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 If anything, it was the opposite. I was, I was crying because I have... I'm not saying this breakup is easier on Becky because that's definitely not the case. But when you look at it, you know, she broke up with me and I'm kind of like stuck here like, oh my God, where do I go from here? You know, she has all her answers. She knows where she wants to live and everything like that. I am extremely confused and her ducks are in order more than mine is, I guess you could say in a little sense. In certain areas. Exactly. And then in certain areas, so were yours. Yeah, so I was crying like a like a little child. So it's just, you know, that might be what it is. Plus, we had like a really good weekend. Mm -hmm. So we're like coming down from like a really good weekend. Yeah. So we had too much fun and now I'm tired. Yeah, Becky and I have not argued since we broke up. Yeah. Hey, Becky and ALR, I had cirrhosis and I think dermatitis, and I use stuff with silicone.
Sil- I can't say that word. Something acid. Salicylic. Salicylic acid, and it really helped. Oh, you guys, calm down. The cats are playing, play fighting. Yeah. Um, can y'all spill some tea? I don't have any. I don't think. There literally is no tea right now. Like, the pot is dry, you guys. You drank it all last week. (laughs) Are those polka dots or stains? It's my shirt. It's, uh. Like a bleached. Bleached look. Bleached dye. Yeah. Is it awkward for you guys to do this now? Why do you live stream if it hurts you both? I care about you. This doesn't seem healthy and I can see it hurts you. No, it's not. We're not hurt by the live We're streaming. Not. I mean, the live stream's not hurtful. Hanging out's not hurtful. It's whenever we have to literally start thinking about moving is whenever it starts to kind of hurt. Yeah. Other than um, that, we're totally fine. Like, we had an awesome weekend with Eric and Ricky and my family. And me and her was just there as friends and... One of my sisters did get really upset and really sad because she was like, I thought you guys were working on it and you brought her. So, you just took me off guard. So, she looked like she was about to cry. And then that made Amberlynn cry. I cried really hard. So. I was not expecting that reaction for sure. I wasn't either. Um, Amberlynn, what do you think of Beauty Beauty lying about being addicted and using on stream? I think that it's none of our business um, as view. I'm, I'm her friend. So, but as a viewer, it's no one's business, what she's addicted to, who she sees in her life, what she does in her life. It is ultimately up to her and what she wants to share. And I feel like addiction is super private. Um, people who are addicted to drugs lie to their family. And... No tea, no shade, but obviously family is more important than viewers. Like, anyone could say that. That's not me just, like, being whatever. So, her lying to her viewers over an addiction is completely and utterly normal. And she should not be called a liar because of it. Um, Well, think about why do people lie about things. Because people have terrible, stupid reactions. If somebody were to you know, confess something to you, you don't, you don't do that. Yeah. Because then that's going to make people not want to tell you things. I think you approach it with support and caring. Yeah. I don't think anyone should have to sit there and say what they're addicted to. That's no one's business. It's not a lie. She was withholding information that she shouldn't have to share. So, yeah. That's how I feel. Becky, do you know any CCR songs? Um, uh, um, she better. <laughs> my mom and dad were totally obsessed. Like, even so much to the point that I played Who Will Stop the Rain at her funeral. I love CCR. My dad could play a bunch of them on the guitar. He probably still could if his hands didn't hurt. Just like my mom. My mom is also super really big into like video games like Zelda and Mario. And then she played them so much so often and also did labor. You know, she worked for a living. She ended up with Carpal Tunnel and couldn't play anymore. So it's like dad couldn't play guitar anymore. Mom couldn't play video games anymore because their hands were just crap. Right. Happy early birthday, Jordan. Welcome to Stream Queens, Miranda. Does the breakup have anything to do with you not being friends with Dana anymore? No, but the breakup does have to do with why me and Dana are now friends again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Weirdly enough. Um, <clears throat> is it called elephant ears or fried dough? I don't know what that means. I don't either. Time heals. Glad you're both doing it. The humane and like grown-ups. Within time, you will laugh through it all when you're both in a good place. Peace and love to you both. Thank you so much. <coughs> Thank you. I have a little 
pickle in my throat. Amberlynn, this would be such an amazing time to try to find a therapist. Yeah. <coughs> Trying to make Be Becky feel bad for leaving you, huh? Question mark. Well, okay. Uh, <coughs> I guess you can consider my feelings and thoughts tea. Wait, first, are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, I had a tickle in my throat. She proposed to me. This is all stuff we've talked about, so I'm not throwing shade, okay? She proposed to me, and we were in love, and we had some of our future planned. So, yeah, she should feel like fucking utter shit for breaking my heart. Who's to say I don't? It is what it is. But I don't want her to feel that way. Like, I would rather me just feel like absolute shit garbage. Becky made the choice that she felt was was right for both of us and I have to respect her in that choice obviously like a lot of people were like confused they're like why aren't you fighting for your relationship because in one of the live streams I said that I'm not gonna beg for Becky to be with me and I think I should have explained myself a little bit further <coughs> when I thought things were fixable I did beg I said I will fix this I'll fix that I'll do everything I can because I did not want to be without her, you know? But then when she finally was just like, nothing, it's not that something is broken. It's just that this is best for both of us. That's when it made me realize you can't beg someone to be with you when their mind is already made and when there's nothing you can ultimately do to change their mind. It just, it makes you look pathetic at that point. You just sitting there trying to, you know, beg. I don't know. It's just, it's, ugh. I don't know. Becky, do you even want to be here? Yeah, why? I was just one of the things. <coughs> there is no right slash wrong way to break up. Just let them do what works best for them. Yes. Uh, can only imagine how abusive Amber is to Becky off camera. Judging by how rude and toxic she is being now. Do what you need to, Becky. Wishing you happiness. You guys, you got it all wrong. I'm just telling you. I don't understand what you mean, abuse. I don't, I don't get it. If I felt abused right... If I felt abused right now, I would literally get in my car and just go back where I just come from. So... And not only that, but it's like, why would she want to stay my friend? Why would her family want me to stay a part of their family if I abused Becky? Because Becky's mouth, now that we're friends, we can throw shade in certain ways. She has a big mouth. <laughs> Everyone knows that. That's something you not guys always. might, that's something you guys might not know about her. If I was abusing Becky... Trust me, her family would know, friends would know, like, her family and friends know all about her past relationships, like... My sister has went through an abusive relationship, like, literally to the point where he beat her unconscious, so why would I stay in a relationship where I was feeling friendship. that way, too? Well, I'm just saying friendship, relationship, why yeah. would I stay with someone who treated me like that in life? Yeah. Um... That man, the the man who did that to my sister, it was her husband at the time, he had to flee the state, and he's never been back because of my dad. I'm not even playing. Thing. Which, you know, we actually were the ones who gave him the heads up to leave because we didn't want my dad going to prison. So my sister called his... Uh, mom and dad and told them what was going on so they're like okay we're gonna take him and get gone so they did that was a whole, whole yeah that, was, that sounds like a whole i was literally like 12 i had no idea what was happening that's why i've never heard that story <clears throat> i don't think i have it was the same husband that would put austin in the corner for hours oh uh, no that one yeah Hmm. Becky, when you said you want to focus on self-love, it's so powerful and beautiful. In order to love your future, 
in order to love future you, you must love the you now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've spent my entire life <clears throat> absolutely hating, hating everything about myself. So, literally, I'm getting to the point where I like myself and I like the things that I like. And the only thing that really gets on my nerves is my lisp and my fat face. And that's it. Yeah. You're not a fat face, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't understand. Like, when we first started talking, before I met you in person, you said, <laughs> Vicky said, my chin is so big that when I look down, I see it. So I was expecting a big chin. I don't, I, I, with my own eyeballs, when I look at you, I don't see a big chin. Like, I've seen big chins before, and I happen to think that you have one. Mm-hmm. I do. Okay, well, I don't think so. And then it's like, it has to go up along and the I sides don't of my face. And I 100% believe that you lied to me. About what? You cannot see your chin when you look down. No. <laughs> but I feel like I can. <clears throat> I figured we could play this, so. Okay, but we have Maybe. a Hootenberry bunch of messages I know. here. We got a Hootenberry. We will definitely play that bet. Bet, 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 bet. I was trying to call you Beck, but that's what your <laughs> nephew calls you. That was weird. <laughs> Beck. She wants to play this 2000s trivia thingy, so we'll definitely do that. But we're just, like, super behind on messages, so let me just... Yeah, catch up. Okay. Ah! Amber, can you live with a family member? I don't want to. I don't want to live with anyone. Look. Like you what do you think breaking up will make you gain weight no i don't think so if anything i'm wanting it to make her lose it yeah <clears throat> uh the whole point of a relationship is to work through things together i can see how hurt you are amber you deserve someone who won't betray you f you becky i didn't know it was gonna say all that because i read it i didn't read it and then read That's it okay. i just read it it's okay Damn. I mean, I agree with some of that. I've said it, <laughs> not the F you part. Mm -hmm. Like the part where, you know, you work through things together, but there's a difference. Like sometimes a person sometimes just doesn't can't. want to. Well, you can't anymore because me and Amberlynn have had our problems more than once. Mm -hmm. And we've almost broken up more than once. And we always push What's through it and said okay well this time this time around it'll be different and we'll be better and we'll you know no yeah nothing changed yet again yeah and it's like you know it's on me and it's on you it is it is on me so it's like i just don't think it's fixable like that right now especially whenever you know there is no romance anymore nope but of course, you know, of course, I still love and care about you. Mm -hmm. Of course I do. I know. I've told her that. I was like, I always have your back till the day I die. <clears throat> Sweet. Sorry, I keep having like an itch in my throat. My allergies have been acting up. Ugh. Have you guys started doing any packing? Yes. Um... Becky, why didn't you bring this up to Amber as you started feeling this way? It's not nice to spring this on a partner you were building a life with. I will admit it was very, very random. Um, she was at her family's for the weekend. Everything was fine on Friday. You know, calling me babe and text messages. Like, everything was normal. Woke up on Saturday and, like... It was just really weird. I felt like there was a weirdness. And I don't know. There was no arguing. We didn't argue. Nothing. And she was like, um, what is that? Did you say something like, we need to talk? I've been thinking about this for a while or something like that. And I was like, oh, oh, that's fun. So, it for me, it did come out of nowhere for sure. But. But, I mean, here. <clears throat> we had a really bad fight. We did. We had a bad, bad fight. Not this past Monday, but the Monday before. Um, 
we woke up. Before we broke up, by the way. Yes, it's before we broke up. A week mm-hmm. before, pretty much. We woke up. We argued to the point where we were both tired again. So we went back to sleep from waking up. And then we slept up until it was dark outside. And then we woke back up again and got into another argument. And we did make up. And we Which did this is the sorry, part. This is the hug, part. But it's just like the way I talk to you. And the way you talk to me. This is the part that where I found mm-hmm. really confusing. Because we ended the argument. In a hug. In a hug. Yeah, and did. understandment of one another. Mm-hmm. Because what started the argument was me telling her how I felt. And it would happen a lot. I would tell her how I felt. And we would argue. Um, that's also... Something that shouldn't happen. But it was something that I accepted. Like I said, we both have our own bad things that we did in the relationship, you know. And I always wanted to talk about how I felt because I just felt like that's important. It is. And um, anyways, <laughs> so I was just saying how I felt. Da, 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 and then it just got into this big argument. But by the end of it, we understood each other and hugged and stuff. But her mind went somewhere completely different and I didn't know about it it went somewhere dark where my mind went somewhere light which is weird because I journal every single day and I go back and look at the entries from that day and the day after and Becky and I were on two completely different pages I was very positive and hopeful and stuff like that and the whole time You were thinking about breaking up with me. I don't want to cry. That's like sad, you know? It is. It's so crazy. I mean, I'm not breaking up with you because it's fun or anything. Like, Are on. you just having the time of your life? Jesus, no. You're not having fun? <clears throat> it's just like, you know, it made me realize that I have a lot to learn about myself and to grow and to find peace and just be better i know i want to take care of my health i want to grieve my mother properly i can't be taking care of this and that and the other whenever i'm over here barely able to take care of myself you know yeah because i do have my days where i'm just like i don't want to get out of bed i don't want to answer my sister's call I don't want to have to talk to anybody. I don't want to have to take Twinkie out. I don't want to have to come in here and see you. I don't want to do any of that. I just want to. And it's like I can't. Right. I have to constantly be on the go because people depend on me. Well, you need to have moments where people don't depend on you. Where you're just like, yo, I'm checking out for the day. Mm -hmm. Or a few days, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> Y'all, we're very open, as you can tell. <laughs> like, we're just, like, super open, eh? I just don't feel I'm in the place for a relationship. And that could be years. It could be never. I don't know. And it's, you've opened my eyes, you know, doing this. I'm... Yeah, I feel the same way. I Relationships just clearly aren't for me. <laughs> like, it is what it is. Like, they're just not. So... I just want to be selfish. I've well, never, I mean, you I've have never, been. I'm talking about, like, I've never <laughs> been joking. allowed to just think of me. Yeah, because you've been in a relationship for over four years. With you. And then even before that, it's just like, I was in such a stupid, naive place. I was like, oh, me and Nina broke up. I'm not good enough. I have to find somebody else. Pronto. Like, mm-hmm. and then I dated that one girl. I had that one night stand. None of that worked out. I wasn't looking anymore. And then, boom, you popped in my life. hmm Yeah. And it's like you made me feel like I could give it a shot. You know? hmm I'm glad we did. Um, did you get your PET scan? What was it like? Someone I know has had cancer and rather ask this question to a cancer survivor than someone going through it right now. 
I honestly don't want to talk about my cancer at all. So I'm sorry, but I just don't. How do you become a member? I'm so behind. I'm, I'm going to have to like really go for like, it's 8.17 where I'm at. And right now it's 8.34. Oh my god. So I'm just like... gonna like skim. To become a member, you have to go to my channel and press join. Um did Becky feel like a caretaker? I hope no. not. Because she didn't do anything caretaky. -y. No, why did I why would I feel like a caretaker? Um when letting go of an ex, I had to ask myself, would I spend the rest of my life with me? The answer was no. I love them enough to know they deserve someone. Who could answer yes to help me grow? I love that because while with Becky, I told myself and I told her repeatedly that she deserves someone so much better than me. I said the same thing. And I would cry about it and I like, but I was too much in love and too selfish to actually break up with her. But I knew deep down Becky deserves someone better. But see, I mean, that's how I felt about her. You know, because... Absolutely Amber not. Lynn, you were all the time like, you know, oh, I wish somebody was, you know, lovey-dovey and blah, blah, blah. You know, I wasn't mushy enough. <clears throat> and I want you to have what you want. And mm -hmm. I wasn't giving you those things. Right. And I think it's because, like, the relationship I had before, Becky was very very mushy gushy affectionate constant that that's just what i was used to so it's like i'm not saying i never gave you any of that no i'm not saying that at all it's just i that would be weird and not often like yeah. that yeah for sure um do you feel if you actually lost weight and stuck to a diet, Becky would have stayed with you and not ended it? I, it's not my weight. It's not. Yeah. Because if it, if it had ever been her weight, why would I have gotten with her? Yeah. <clears throat> Since you guys are not in a romantic relationship, would you guys consider just being in a partnership? I don't really know what that means. We're just friends. Welcome to Stream Queen's Hot Nails. Um... Welcome to Stream Queen's Rawls. Um, Becky hasn't said one mean thing about you and has taken a beat in owning her own mess. You are just being so rude. What can you own up to? ALR. I've owned up to everything that Becky has said. I don't understand. I'm so confused. Like, we all know everyone is Team Becky, and it's fine, but, like... I don't think there needs to be a Team Anybody. <sighs> because me and Amberlynn both deserve the things we want in life. And it's like, I can't give her those things, and nobody can give me what I'm looking for. But except yourself. for myself. Yeah. Um, Amber, you're worth love. Pick up your crown. Thanks. Um, sending positive vibes to you both. Thank you, Lisa. When's my next weigh-in? I don't know. Um, what healthy steps will you take after Becky leaves? Um, like leaves physically? Cause I don't, I don't know. I think once me and you are not living together anymore. Mine is going to be, I want to set a routine for myself. Yeah. Yeah. It'll probably be easier, too, for you. I want to set a routine about waking up, eating when I'm supposed to eat, take my medicine when I'm supposed to take my medicine. Yeah. If I've got time, take a little walk. Work and stuff. I just feel like, you know... <sighs> It's hard for me to think of my future in this moment because, like, I'm still, like, hurting low-key. And I just feel like <laughs> a lot of people expect me to just be fine right now. And I'm just not. So I'm doing the best I can. 
you know, and I don't like doing this in front of her because I don't want her to think I'm sad. So, but I, okay. I just don't really think of that quite yet. I'm getting there because, you know, it just takes a minute. Like this just happened, you know, like I've been, yeah. Um, Becky, is your art your new job or are you doing something else as well? No need to be specific. I have something else that I'm doing. Um, I'm going to keep on with the art. I'm going to start m my YouTube channel. I'm not saying it's going to go anywhere, but it'd be cool if it did. Um, I... I have a few options. I have, I know of two other places I could go. But I currently am earning money doing something. But. Yeah. Both of you are so strong. I watched you from the beginning. Amber, you're such a beautiful soul. I did a fan art of Becky. It would be lovely if she saw it. That's from Victoria. Yeah, send it to me. I had somebody tag me in one the other day and I liked it. Move the camera. I'm trying to catch up a bit. An accident. Um, welcome Renee and Lydia to Stream Queens. Um, Becky, what's your favorite type O negative song? Uh, Red Water. It used to be Love You to Death, and then before that, it was uh, uh, I Don't Want to Be Me, but definitely Red Water or Pareto Blaze. I don't know. I love them all. And it's weird. I used to not like them. Because the first song I ever heard by them was Black Number One. And I didn't really care for that song. And I was like 14 at the time. It was whenever Headbangers Ball was a big big thing on MTV2 on Saturday nights. <clears throat> um, welcome to Stream Queens, Elizabeth. Oh no, my sock has a hole. Amber, you look cute with your hair down. It's in a um pony. A high pony. You you guys should see her. You should braid your hair more often, by the way. Ma. Because it looks good whenever you do the braids. Whose hair was braided Me. the other day and I was just like, I love it. Was it Rafe's? Oh yeah. Whenever we had yeah, with them. Yeah, it was two braids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you could go to rehab for binge eating disorder. Cool, cool, but I don't need to, thankfully. I haven't really been binging. I must say, I'm very proud of myself for that. It's also been kind of hard. You know, we've spent a few nights with some uh, people who are trying to be vegan right now. <laughs> they're not vegan. They're vegetarian. Whatever. Which is easy for me. I don't really like meat much. Me neither. It just depends. Sometimes I could go for some chicken. It just feels like, because of how I was raised, it like, feels like I have to eat meat. But, like, I don't really like it that much. It's weird. Yeah. I like beef and I like chicken. I don't really care for fish and I don't really care for pork. Um, when do you want to do this? Did you finally catch up? Yeah. You guys want to have some fun with some trivia? Why are we doing this? Um, do you, you want me any? to ask you them? Do you have? Well, you can ask some and I'll ask you some. You can ask me three. And if I get two out of the three right, I get a point. Same with you. But if you don't, you don't get no points. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go first. Okay. What? What? You ain't gonna know nothing about that. 
It's the number of Super Bowls the New England Patriots won from 2002 to 2010. I don't know nothing about football. Four. Three. So close. Darn. Shucks. Okay. Here we go. Stream is going to be extra boring now. What? How about let's ask each other ten questions each, and then whoever gets the most right wins out of the ten. Okay. You Well, I got to finish with you. Oh, okay. She's cheating by reading them first. I gotta have you guess who this is. Okay. Mm. It was um, a man and a woman who were both famous and they had their own reality TV show together and they're both musicians but only with their mouths. They couldn't play music. Music. What? They could. Jessica and Nick. Well, Jessica Simpson. Yeah, Jessica Simpson. Okay, sure. Whatever. You get that one. Woo! So that means I get the point. Oh. So you've asked me two so far. Yeah. And you did not get that first one. Okay. Got him. I don't know what that was. Okay, I'm going to try to... Okay, you have to figure out what these three things make. Okay. Like, what is their common thing? Okay. Phones, puppets, Comedy Central. Phones, puppets, and Comedy Central? Mm-hmm. <sighs> SNL. Crank Yankers. <laughs> I have no idea. You don't know what Crank Yankers is? No. Okay. Okay. Which of these MTV VJs was not a host on TRL? Lala, Damien, mm -hmm. Tyrese, or Hillary? Hillary. Tyrese. <laughs> okay. I made an appearance in the film Undercover Brother. I had my own successful sketch comedy show. My first hour-long stand-up special called Killing Them Softly came out on HBO in 2000. 2000. Who am I? I don't know. Charlie Murphy. Unity. Dave Chappelle. I don't know stuff like this the heck okay what is the name of the book mean girls is based on what okay, okay. is mean it girls. is it the teenage mafia and how i got even mean girls jocks and other high school cliques or queen bees and wannabes the first one no it's queen bees and wannabes <laughs> thank you victoria i appreciate that how many do you have i only have one wow how many have you asked so far? Five. No. I didn't ask front and back. You've asked me six. Oh. But you're cheating because you're looking at them. She's cheating. I'm seeing on which side do I want to do. Because some of these you have to play with teams and we don't have those. Mm. Okay. Put these Britney Spears moments in chronological order. Okay. Starting Crossroads, The Kiss with Madonna, Shaved Her Head, Release Toxic, VMA Performance of I'm a Slave for You with a Snake. Whoa, that's a lot. Okay, so the first thing that happened was Crossroads. No. Okay, what was it? It goes Perform with a Snake, Crossroads, The Madonna Kiss, Toxic, Shaved Head. So there's seven. I would have gotten that right. Those were the two that I was going to switch. I was going to do Crossroads, then Snake, then Madonna, then Talk. Mm! What was the name of the third Austin Powers movie? I have no idea. Gold member. I don't like Austin Powers. The anyway, get out of here. 
This is so oh, funny. It's the number of days in the title of this Joseph Gordon Levitt and the Zoe Deschanel romantic comedy. What? It's the number of days <laughs> in the title. Okay. Of of this movie. I'm not good at stuff like this, y'all. Um, 27. 500. Last question. 500. What color was Cosmo's hair in the Fairly Odd Parents cartoon? Oh, oh, oh. Green. Oh, yeah, you got it. Yay. I got two points. Good job. Here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I have your ten cards already. Oh, okay. And I'm not going to cheat. Okay. Do you want yellow side or purple side? Uh, I guess the purple. Okay. It's a game of total recall. Pick another player. That's probably... So what do we do with that? We can flip it over. Okay. Pick a player. Oh, Different we'll just card. do who am I? Okay. I am a pilot. I landed a plane in the Hudson River. Years later, Tom Hanks played me in a movie. Who am I? Charlie Wilson. <laughs> Captain Soli. Well, whoops. Which Wrong one of Tom these? Hanks movie. <laughs> which one of these Disney parks did not open in the 2000s? Tokyo Disney Sea, Shanghai Disneyland Park, Disney California Adventure Park, Hong Kong Disneyland Resort. Tokyo. Shanghai. Dang it. <laughs> Put these Kanye West moments in chronological order. Posed as Jesus on the cover of Rolling Stones. Beat 50 Cent for the number one album spot. Crash Taylor Swift's acceptance speech at the VMAs. Released the college dropout. Said George said George W. Bush didn't care about black people. Okay, college dropout. George Bush. Dressed up like Jesus. Okay, where are the other two? Um, Taylor Swift and the number one album spot. Number one album spot, Taylor Swift. Yep. Got a point. Put the following celebrities in order from shortest to tallest. Okay. Usher, Ben Stiller, Will Smith, Jack Black, Jake, Gyllenhaal. Okay. So from shortest to tallest. Who are the first two? This one shocks me, kind of. Usher and Ben Stiller. Okay, we're going to go with... Ben Stiller. Nope. Usher. It's Jack, Jack Black, Black, then Ben Stiller, then Usher, then Jake, then Will. Okay. I knew Jake and Will were up there. I knew the other ones were kind of... Wait, where's the one you got right? Shoot, I put it up. You know what? I'm just going to grab one. No, is it that? Nope, it's not that one. Okay. Um, name three of the five button colors on the original Guitar Hero controller. Name just one? Three of the five. Green, red, and yellow. That's too easy. And then there was blue and orange. Oh, green, red, yellow, blue, and orange. Okay. You're going to put these Disney Channel shows in order that they debuted. Okay. Hannah Montana. Wizards of Waverly Place. The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. That's a Raven. Sunny with a Chance. Okay, that's a Raven's first. Zack and Cody. Hannah debuted. Montana. Debuted. <laughs> Debuted. Is that right? <laughs> I was just thinking, okay. Hannah Montana. Wait, so you did That's a Raven, then Zach, then Hannah? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. There's Sunny with a Chance. What's the other one called? Waverly. Waverly and then Sunny with a Chance. Correct. 
What was the state that McLovin's fake ID was issued from in Superbad? Hawaii. <clears throat> 2000 spelling bee. Just spell the name. Okay, we'll give you three tries. No, you're only getting one try. And it's Ben Affleck. Affleck. B E N. Mm hmm. A F F L E C K. Mm hmm. Um. How many F bombs are dropped in the film The Departed? 1,000. 237. Why? It's a lot of fucks. <laughs> Put these Oscar Best Picture winners in the chronological order they were released. The Departed, Million Dollar Baby, Slumdog Millionaire, Crash. Okay, we're going to go with Million Dollar Baby. Slumdog Millionaire. Nope. It was Crash, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Crash. It was Million Dollar Baby, 2004. Crash, 2005. The Departed, 2006. Slump Dog Millionaire, 2009. You won, though, because I only got two right, so great job. Oh, I, was, I had a strong start there. Good job. Good job. I'm not surprised. Why did I think Becky's Crash smart. was so old? 2009 wasn't that bad. It wasn't that long ago. What am I thinking of? Necky is tired of the stinky, sweaty fupa. Anyway. <laughs> mm. Now that that's over. That was fun. That was fun. Oh, People wait. Maybe we could do one more. of these. Because. Wait. Hold on. Your skin looks good today. It changes. Isn't that weird? My Billa, my Billa Rubin is pretty decent today it looks like no where's my phone go we should do this one where we have to like choose oh oh let's do this one you want to do a few of those sure. love you too victoria for you guys okay this one's called disturbed friends this game should be banned, it said, so. I don't know about you guys, but we're just playing it a weird way because, yeah, how else are you going to do this? I don't know about y'all, but I don't know about us. This is going to get us in trouble. How? Okay, I'll give you, I'll let you go first because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. All right, ready? Answer for you. The one, oh, wait, no, wait. I'm going to answer for me, and you have to try to guess what my answer is, right? Okay. But where are we going to write this? Because there's going to be some cheating going on. Where's the whiteboard? Where is the whiteboard? Do you have anything you can write on? <clears throat> Dirty bit. Sure. Dirty bit. Oh, my God. I have so many packages I have to package. It's crazy. Okay. Hold on. So you have to try to guess what you think I would say. You guys can try to guess too. How well do you know me? The one person I would not want to spend hours sitting beside on a plane is A, a very hungry pregnant woman. B, a tourist. A terrorist. Wait, what? Does that say a terrorist? A terrorist? How does that even compare? Or C, a sex offender that will likely rub one out. <laughs> so I have to put, I'm going to write down which. Um, I know what you're going to pick already. Which I'd rather not be near. Yeah. Okay. All right. Which one do you think? It is the terrorist. Correct. I do not want to be near a terrorist. Is this game stupid, y'all? <laughs> My turn. All right, your turn. My favorite prank is to 
rent a cop uniform and raid parties for booze and drugs. Scare people after I slept with them by pretending to have an STD. Or fake having convulsions in restaurants. Is this game dumb? Should we ask them? Well, what's funner? What about the drunk stone stupid one? Oh, okay. We could try that one. Because I feel like this one's kind of dumb. Well, I would have chose the uh, fake having convulsions in a restaurant. That's what someone said. Can you imagine? Huh. Okay. I have to fart. But I don't think it's going to come out. Not on here. I don't think it's going to come out. You can't fart in front of the queen. Who? You never know. She could be watching. The queen? Yeah, Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, and I hope that my fart's impressive to her. All right. So we have to give it to the person that we think it is. This one's called... Drunk Stoned or Drunk Stupid. Drunk Stoned or Stupid. Yeah. yeah. All right. Only talks about themselves. <laughs> Amberlynn. Why do you think I should get that? Because... Who do you think should get it? They should choose. But they, should choose. they would purposely be haters, though, towards me. I don't know. I mean, I guess. So me? Okay, I guess I get it. All right. Read the next one. Okay. We'll make a great cougar. A great Kroger. Who yeah. would make a great cougar? Well, I mean, you... LR, Becky. I think I think you would. Amberlynn. Becky, Becky, Amber, LR, Becky. Okay, so it's a tie. Take it. I think you though. I think you though. Okay, fine. I keep it. Here. You wouldn't want to be a cougar. You'd want to be dating the cougar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can only make plans one day out. They don't know us that well. I feel like. Wait, what does that mean to make plans one day out? Like ASAP? Like, I like to make plans, like, that are, like, a mile from now. Like, a month from now. Oh, like, literally, I can make plans for tomorrow and be fine. And you have to literally, you have to have a free yeah. notice. I, I think it goes to me. Yeah. 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 I can't wait to get some Cards Against Humanity cards in the mail. Romp, romp, romp. Goes to Taco Bell Sober. We both know that's you. <laughs> some of these good. we automatically already know who to give them to. So. See? Oh, my God. No. It's my turn. What? Your volume is off? What? That's a law. Giggles at everything. You guys know it, sir. Your turn. Yep. Thinks they have swag. Here, just take it. Just take it. I'll just take it. Is that still a word that people use? <laughs> YOLO swag. R O F L M A O, whatever. Calls dibs on people at parties. <laughs> I call dibs on that girl over there. No, I would not do that. I would not do that. That's I don't. So I don't even know what that means. I've not been to a party where people were calling dibs on people. Fine, I'll take it. I've barely been to a party. Tinders. Are you going on Tinder already? No, but... Actually, you know what? It's going to be more you than it will ever be me from here on out. I'm never dating online again because give, some hood rat. Give it a month. Some hood rat give for it sure. A month. <laughs> Wait, you think I'm going to find someone in a month? No. Nah. I just know you move on. Quick. I'm never dating again. Whose turn is it? Since, you know, you're keeping that card. It's my turn. My turn now. 
I've already read like 500 of them. Loses pants. <laughs> I do lose pants. It's weird. Like, have you seen my pants? Has literally lost like four pants while living here. Becky's not on benzos. You do look tired. Who, me? Yeah. I'm very tired. Well, alphabetize spice rack and free time. Oh my God, but I have done it and it's oddly fun. Yeah, I love organization. <laughs> Hi, Rarito. All right. I'm literally wearing pants right now, you dumbass bitch. Can be convinced of anything. Becky. It's not true. Yes, it is true. It's not. Yes, it is. Are you saying that because I believe in ghosts and stuff? I'm saying that you're convinced of literally anything. So is she. Like, literally, God, what did I have you believing that one the other night? I had it? you and Eric both going. You both were like, really? And I was like, yeah. I don't remember. It's fun to trick people. Hi. Hey, whose turn is it? Chases shots by yelling. That would be Eric, but he's not here. I love you. He's the only one who can really do shots. Oh. We did one, one with Jennifer last so weekend. Sweet. Me and Eric did. It was so rough. Sweet. It was absolutely are disgusting. So okay, my turn. Again. What other games are there? Is a basic bitch. Huh? I don't know what that means. I love you. I love you. Where's American love flag you. clothing? She's getting nervous. Yeah, because she knows. Where's that American flag? That That's you, her. Trump supporter. She's not, She's not a Trump supporter. That was a joke. <laughs> I actually meant that goes to Twink. Twink, you, you gotta stop that? wearing them American flag clothes, dude. We're not supposed to do that. That's disrespectful to the flag. I love you. Supposedly. I love you. Oh. Knows all three stages of Charmander's evolution. Let's see. There's Charmander, Chartizard, and... The really big one. Oh, Snorlax, that's me. No. Oh. Charmeleon, Charmander, and Charizard. Okay. I wasn't a Pokemon kid, but I know that. Haters gonna hate. Never text you back. That goes to me. Owns crayons. That goes to me. <laughs> She's having the time of her life. We'll make out with absolutely anyone. That's I Amberlynn. Hate. God, I had to reach over to freaking Texas to get that thing. Good. Twinkie's not scared of me. Can't help but speak without thinking. They literally think that Twinkie doesn't like me. That's not true. Like you. I want you person. guys to. Oh my god. I believe. Do you speak look at? She looks pitiful though. <laughs> She's like, why are you holding me? <laughs> Yeah, I guess. It's way down to go to Chuck E. Cheese. Here, yeah. me. Oh. I've never been. That's okay. a dream of mine. I want to go. Love you. Love you. Would take the last parachute. I love you. I love you. I love you so much. What are we doing? Um, Knows more about Kim Kardashian than anybody else. I love you. <laughs> She's being cute. Ew. Lost sheets for bed. Why are you giving all of these to me? She's giving me all Would of them. Would live at home if they could. Amberlynn. No, that's you. You'd live with your family. Becky, I'm going to kick you. It was made for reality TV. What? She keeps giving... Use this dude as both statement and a question. That's me. <laughs> Interprets everything as flirting. Amberlynn. Do 
uses daddy's credit card. You Twinkie. should scare the crap <laughs> Here's Twinkie's card. Uses daddy's credit card. Is a total flirt. That one also goes to Twinkie. Twinkie, you flirties! Has never looked at porn. That needs to go to Wasabi, even though it's a lie. I've caught you, Wasabi. I love you. Okay. We'll become a compulsive cross-dresser. Amberlynn. You already cross-dress. Take it. I'm sorry if this is boring. I'm just having fun. We're just chilling at this point. Ask questions throughout the entire fucking movie. You... We're watching the same movie, and you said, oh, who that? And I said, I don't know. We're watching the same movie. I like to know. If you don't know who that is, I don't know who that is. Anyways, I think it's time for us to go. It is. Because we have a lot to do. Things, but shouldn't. You t Wait, hold on. You always told me my voice you was good. You do. I was playing. Come on. Oh my gosh, do I sound bad? No, you don't. I don't want to play this no more. Should be in prison. That's Twinkie. <laughs> what did she do? You know what she did. Literally can't even. Yeah, I can't. All right, Becky. This is the last one that's definitely me changing the song, the song every 30 seconds. Dong, da, dong, dong, dong. Let me see that song. What is this one? We're not really strangers. This is just part of the games that I chose to keep. Because didn't we get go through all the games? Yeah. And these are the ones that I'm keeping. Oops. Becky. It. <laughs> it's so funny. Everything that we're going through... I'm just, like, getting rid of everything. And Becky's like, keep, 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 keep. Keeping it all. That's, that's how true. I That's how I know. I got rid of some things. Yeah. But that's how I know I'm not a hoarder. These people think I'm a hoarder, but I want to get rid of everything. I'm just over it. I want new start. I mean, obviously, there's stuff I'm keeping, but. Tweaky store, why are you shaking like bacon? I actually don't want that trivia game, so you can put that, like with that pile over there. Becky is feeling herself. Are you? I have bad like hiccups and gas right now. I farted. I don't, don't know if that was heard. Hot nails, you can message me on Instagram. But they wouldn't work on um, nails. Oh, you want to make them for boxes? Yeah. Um, message me there. Oh, wait. Uh, is it the, the charms? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That'd be really good for boxes, actually. Yeah, we were only going to be on here for like 30 minutes, but that, that didn't go as planned. So we're going to go. Um, anyways. Bye. Bye.